this one? I mean, how good does it feel to be back and maybe you can just chat about uh, the whole recovery process from the injury and uh, you know, obviously the challenge of that and getting back to fitness now? Yeah, it's obviously uh, been a long time. Uh, I think, yeah, the rugby world has forget about me. Uh, it's been it's been more than eight months, so it's just nice to be back. Um, must I missed you guys also a lot the media, <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it's just nice to be back in a team environment. I mean, doing rehab for eight months uh, with a physio every day, it gets it's, it's a lonely world. So, just to be in a team environment, seeing the guys, um, having Sia as my roommate, uh, waking up next to him every every morning, yeah, it's just nice to be in an envi environment like that again. And uh, how are you? How are you just feeling physically? Um, do you feel like you were, you know, where before you got injured? Do you feel like you're at the same sort of conditioning level? Yeah, well, obviously, uh, like I said, I had eight months to work on that also uh, to get back. I mean, you can you can sit here and say you you're ready, but at the end of the day, uh, Saturday five o'clock, that's when when uh, me and the rest of the world is also going to see if I'm if I'm ready to play again. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, Evan, can you talk us through your emotions uh, being injured and, and watching? Guys play against injured players so well. Yeah, uh, I was actually very emotional, uh, especially when the guys run out uh, singing and singing the national anthem. Um, for me, uh, yeah, I just love Springbok rugby and, and uh, seeing them playing, not being there uh, was quite, uh, yeah, very emotional for me. So being back at it and, and I know I'm going to run out with them on Saturday, it's an awesome feeling. What did you miss most, Evan? Was it um, just being with your teammates, the physicality of the game, or just involved in test match rugby anything that, that you really missed the most yeah i must say uh, first of all when those guys line up and sing the national anthem i think that's probably the the best song song i can sing uh so yeah just just being there and then obviously after that kickoff time uh you obviously miss the in between the, the jokes and everything by the end of the day it's that 80 minutes on the pitch uh where you get to test yourself against the world's best and that you miss even the last time you played you were the captain and now Yeah, I think uh, everyone knows me and see I have a, have a pretty good relationship. Um, so yeah, we, we when he was announced captain, I also immediately phoned him in June, but I think he was busy on the training field, so he phoned me back later today. And yeah, he, he told me how he was feeling and how excited he was. But I mean, all the leaders, it's nice to have Warren back. Uh, Franz Malherbe, uh, Billy Leroux, Andre Pollard. I think all the guys are sticking out their hands and, and also helping the younger guys like uh, Lucano, who's uh, ready to take all your questions just now. Yeah, I think we, we have to take a look at last year. Um, I mean, we'll be foolish if, if we don't. So, I mean, this is a new competition. Uh, we had a good series in, in June. All the guys had a good series. And obviously, we all know there's some uh, key elements we can still improve on. But, I mean, um, going to a championship is a, it's a different animal. And uh, we're just going to take uh, this, this first game against Argentina. And then from there on, we'll, we'll go on and yeah, see where we'll end up. Yeah, but in terms of uh, minutes, is there a predetermined number that you and Rusty have come up with in terms of how many you get through on Saturday? Well, hopefully he keeps me on the field for the full 80. Uh, I don't know if that will happen, but yeah, I don't, I think, yeah, I'll just go at it until he tells me it's your time to come off. Kevin, um, if you had to choose between last year this time and this year this time, uh, with your time in the rugby league, um, what's the major differences? Yeah, that's difficult. I mean, I haven't had a lot of uh, time to work with Rusty is now or this week in, in Stellenbosch um, but must say the guys are happy in the camp uh, well they were last year so I mean the d main difference will always be the results so I mean, at the end of the championship we can all write about that and, and talk about that which will be the main differences Even how, you know maybe it's not the right, right word but like how proud are you of uh, Sia in the way he has taken the captaincy of your hands and uh, just how do you think he's kind of going in that leadership role? Yeah, uh, well I've worked with Sia since under 18 and just to see him grow as a as a man, as a leader, the past, especially the past two years at the Storms and also Spring Mock has been wonderful and uh, yeah, he's a man, yeah, I just, can I say I love another man because I really, <laughs> I really love the guy and yeah, it's just awesome for me to see him as, 
as captain and leading a team, and I mean, I'll be there to back him all the way. Even I mean, from the outside, uh, when the Zagreb is playing and the Zagreb is um, how dangerous do you think they will be now as as, as a crew side and obviously take into consideration what, what happened in Greece to to enjoy the moment? Yeah, we didn't we didn't look too much on that result. Uh, obviously, the Jaguars have uh, done the game in Super Rugby. Um, Pretty much the same team for Argentina, so yeah, like we we'll have to see on Saturday how dangerous they're going to be. Yeah, I mean, um, this time around, it's, um, you're going to be running out with Andre Isays, and obviously in the June series, you guys didn't get a chance to play together at Springbok level. Does it make it a, a little bit easier for the both of you, having played you know a good two seasons together with Dark Um <coughs> Yeah, I think so. Uh, as you said, we've, we've played two good seasons uh, with Andre, but. Uh, We've never played at international level as a centre pair, so uh, we're really looking forward to the test. Yeah. And also, I think um, the Wazi in this field uh, has uh, also some other traits that have to offer. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, definitely it does. Um, but uh, as a group, we we've been together for more than three for more than three weeks. You know, it's Dylan Bosch. And yeah, and and we've been playing, you know, uh, together in the Super Rugby, so uh, it will really help. And uh, yeah, I think uh, it will go good. Funny enough, um, after I came to Congress, you one of the most competitive positions at the moment in the in the past squad. Um, going forward to the World Cup, there's probably only going to be two of the three guys going. So how important is it to to make use of of the chances that you uh, just got? Um. Yeah. You know we. You don't really think like that as a player. Um, you you take your opportunity that's given, and uh, and just try to make the the best out of it. So um, we'll take it game for game, and uh, we'll see uh, what what the coach uh, thinks uh, about the position specific. Yeah. Then what is it that makes you and, <coughs> and Andre a good team together? Um, I think it's the experience of playing together for for so long. Uh, you know, it was about time for for us to gel as as players, and I uh, think yeah, we might we do make a decent combination. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry, Vata. Yeah. 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 Uh, little Sisebenzeka <laughs> 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 